Hello, and welcome back to Who's Who at Wind Alert. I'm your host, Omar Brown, and my guest today is Jessica Gavin. Jessica is the librarian at Trollcare College. Hi, Jessica. How are you doing? Hi, Omar. How are you doing? Great, great. Jessica, can you tell us more about yourself and the work that you do? Yeah. So at Trocare, we are a very small staff, so we do everything here. We sit at the reference desk and help students with their questions. We help faculty and staff with their research questions. We order all the books and we manage the budget. So we're very busy here all the time. And I'm sort of in charge of the information literacy aspect of our program. Right. So when we have professors who want us to do an information literacy class for their class, I'm right. like their contact person. And I create digital learning materials for our LMS system. Oh, okay, great. Now, besides working, working at Trocare, uh, are there any other organizations that you are in, involved in? Yes, I am part of the preservation committee for, the, for Winnie Lurk. Yeah. Oh, okay. What is that you do at, um, on this committee at Winnie Lurk? Well, recently I agreed to be co-chair with Mandy Shepman from Fredonia. So oh, okay. that'll be interesting to try and follow in your and Mark's footsteps on trying to lead the committee. Um, right now we're working on these who's who videos that you're so lovely me putting together. And we were trying to get a preservation institute going in the spring. Oh, excellent, excellent. You have a lot of experience working inside the library, especially university libraries. But my question is this, uh, what, attracted you to become a librarian? Okay, so when I was a teenager, way back in high school, I got a job working at our local library and okay. I fell in love with it. Yeah, like going to college, my goal was just to graduate with my BA so I could go to grad school and get my library degree. Right. Um, I was really drawn to public libraries. I liked the idea of creating this community hub and doing a lot of outreach for people. Right. But then after I got out of school, I got my first job at SUNY Erie, I realized how much I love working in the academic setting where you're just surrounded by people who are always striving to learn and right. do more research. And it was just this great environment that I kind of stumbled into, but I really like it a lot. Oh, excellent, excellent. So from when you was, uh, was working at the public library, you say, it was, was that VPL, what's the name of that? EPL? Yeah, the Buffalo and Erie County Public Libraries. Yes, okay. I was a page at the Boston Tree Library a couple of times oh, okay. throughout my career, but yeah. All right. Now, your experience working at these public libraries, how has it helped you working at the university library level? Um, you know, it just kind of introduced me to the whole being part of the facing the public and answer people's questions and making sure the collections right. look nice and inviting for people. But right. honestly, the best job that I had that prepared me for librarianship was working as a waitress and a bartender. Really? <laughs> yeah. okay. I was awful at talking to people. And then oh, when it was my okay. job to talk to people all day long, it suddenly became easy. So when people ask me in interviews, like, what's the best experience you had? It was working as a waitress and bartender. Well, you know, that was twofold. One, you learn how to talk to people, and two, it improved your um, customer service skills. Right. It's basically needed <laughs> inside <laughs> libraries. It really is. Well, this is the last question. What uh, can you say that most of your colleagues would be shocked to know about you? Most of my colleagues would be shocked to know that I study a martial art. I have been studying Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu for the past few years. I have a blue belt. It's a grappling oh. sport. It's a lot of fun. Oh, well, congratulations. I'm scared of you. <laughs> wow, I never would. Now, that I find shocking. But not too, I mean, just as shocking as that, I don't know if you know is that with Daniel Glenn, mm -hmm. another thing shocking to know about her was that she was a wrestler in high school. Now, you and I, I both know she's I about that, that tall. So, yeah, I love that. And she was a scrapper, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that was, y'all two kids catching me by surprise here. That's good. Girls, grappling sports, who knew? Yes, who knew? Anyway, this concludes our interview. I want to thank Jessica for joining us today. Thank you, Omar. No problem, no problem. Well, I'm Omar Brown, the host of Who's Who at Wendy Lurk. I want you to have a good day. Thank you. 
members of WinAlert are able to utilize a number of programs and services, including archival and digital services, Ask Us 24-7 Chat Reference, Ask the Lawyer, Empire Library Delivery, Hospital Library Services, InfoPass, and a professional development. Please visit www.wnylrc.org to learn more.